I love this bag, but I have since neglected it because there's a new baby in town, okay? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know each time I upload a new video. So you have been anticipating this video. I am going to talk about my Speedy in the Bandelier 30 size. It is in the Demir Ebin print. So it comes in a 25, it comes in a 30 and a 35. Of course, there are other sizes like the 20 and that one you can get in the emprunt leather. And there is um, like a 40 and then you've got the 45 and that goes to the key pole. Um, anyway, but we're just gonna mainly talk about the 30 and as i mentioned it comes in different um, leathers and canvas it does have some leather beads but they're all treated means they're coated um, they have like a protective coating on them as compared to the normal um, monogram with the um, vachette leather i think that's how you pronounce it which is like a, a a raw leather material and that one you know it changes it, it color over time but this one just stays the same um, you can get this one wet without um, ruining the canvas or anything like that it's just more durable and this color hides any imperfections so yes i like this one i do want to get the monogram version. When I get that one, I might get it in the 35 um, speedy. Now the bandolier part refers to this part where you can get a bag with the strap. Um, when the bag comes with no strap, that's just the classic because um, the classic were the first ones to come out, though um, speedies without the straps. But I opted for um, the ones with the straps so that's why it's called the bandolier because it's got the strap and then there's the Demir Zor which is like the whitish lighter color um, same boxy print but in a lighter color I like that one and I'll have that in a 25 size so anyway let's not talk about bags that are not here anyway so gold tone hardware um, LV on each side everywhere really even on the zip and um, you've got the two handles that you can hold the bag this way or put it in the crook of your arm which i tend to do most of the time and in a minute i'm going to show you the strap and you do put that over your shoulder you can wear this bag crossbody or you can just have the strap over your shoulder so the 25 would be 25 centimeters of length and this one is a 30, a 30, speedy 30. So it is 30 centimeters length. And the 35 um, speedy would be 35 centimeters in length. Um, so anyway, the rest of the measurements are 30 centimeters length, 21 centimeters in height. And the width here, we've got 17 centimeters. Now in inches, we have 11.8 inches in length, 8.2 inches in height and 6.6 .6 inches in width. Okay, that's the measurements of the bag. Now I'll just open it and show you what stuffings I've got in here. I keep stuffings so that I can keep the shape of the bag. It is a double zip. I'll just show you. It's a double zip here. I keep my bag stuffed with whatever I can find. Old scarves that I don't use, <laughs> clothes that I don't wear. But in this particular one, I have bubble wrap that I got from um, some packages that I ordered. So anyway, um, the bag does not come with stuffings. It actually comes folded, hence why you see a bit of like wrinkling here. So when you order it in the mail, it comes folded. I will try and insert a picture just to show you an example. Anyway, 
So I've got that bubble wrap that I was mentioning. So the bag did come with bits and pieces that I have not yet put together. When I used the bag, I only used it just like this without the strap. But while we're recording this, we could figure this out together. So it comes with different pieces, straps. That um, is if you want to elongate the strap or keep it short. So let's put this together. From my understanding, the longest the strap can be is about 55 centimeters and the shortest it can be is 48 centimeters. So let's put it at this, its longest strap. Still new, so like the leather, the straps are hard to bend. <laughs> so that's it there. As you can see, it's still adjustable. It's such good quality, these straps. And just as my other bags, these rotate and they say Louis Vuitton on there, on both sides. The strap at its shortest length, as I mentioned before, is 48 centimeters, which is 18.9 inches. And then at its longest, it is um, 55 centimeters, which is 21.7 inches. We've got the tag that I ordered as well. I really wanted a tag. So this one has my initials on it, just here. Anyway, and the little strap to put it on my bag. I'm trying to figure this out because it's my first time putting this together. But it's already looking oh, so good. I think it just adds a bit of like, it's in like an accessory, you know what I mean? And of course I'm gonna add other things. I like could try different accessories to add on my bag. I don't know, pom-poms, I have a few. I am considering buying some accessories for my bag. Um, for all my bags, maybe even twillies, you know, the little scarves to put on my bags just to add a bit of character, to change up the look a bit with my different outfits. So the bag does come with the keys and a padlock. Open the padlock. I think I want to put it... Um, where should I put it? I'll just put it here. Just like that. Um, yes, and then the keys, I'll leave them in here. I didn't even show you the inside of the bag. Okay, this is the inside of the bag. So it is a red interior, textile lining. Um, it does have this flat side pocket inside. It's very flat. I wonder if my phone's gonna fit in here. So it fits in there. Great. I don't do technology. Uh, when I can help it, I will not bother with it. So. <laughs> Yes, so that did fit in that side pocket. I'm gonna guess if you want to attach your mini pochette or your wallet, just there. That way it is secure or you can pop it out of the bag, just like this and have it hanging. I know that people do that too, just accessorizing their bags. Of course, if you're not irritated about having the same monogram, 
print on your bags to match, then you could just have it hanging like this. But isn't it cute? <laughs> anyway, that's an idea. So let's put the strap on. On this side as well. So that's the look. Um, I will do a video showing you how these bags fit on my body at some point. But for now, this is what we're doing. <laughs> All right, so let's see what fits in this bag. I have got my Versace pouch. And this one has, let's say, all the tech stuff, my charger, and all of those good things. Yes, let's see how that fits in there. It goes in perfectly. And now we'll put the mini pochette. This will definitely fit in here. And that's it there. The bag is quite light on its own, so you don't have to worry about it being too heavy unless you add some heavy stuff in there. Okay, I've got new hand cream that I just bought. Actually, let me open it so I can try it. Oh. goodness this smells so good okay oh my goodness this is really really nice I'll see if I can find it and put it in the description box anyway let's pop that in there I get sidetracked you guys okay I've got a body cream here and let's put that in there I like to keep my perfumes in their boxes. Don't, it's weird for some, but you know, that's how I preserve them. Let me just put it back. So this is the cocoa. Let's put that in there. Sometimes I carry two perfumes with me. So let's put this one in here. This one is, this is her by Zadig and Voltaire. I have done a review on this perfume so go ahead and have a look at my perfume videos so let's put that one in there there's still plenty of room let's say i'm carrying my coins i've got my airpod pro my phone of course okay Let's say you carry a crown for no reason. Oh, sometimes it's chilly. So I always, even in my car, always carry a light jacket or something. So we've got this blazer. Look at that. Let's take this out so I can show you what the others are looking like. As you can see, everything fits in there. <laughs> and then I'll put that. And I still have room even after stuffing this in here. It just depends how heavy you want your bag or yes. Um, so people do get bag organizers to insert in there, like bag inserts to kind of keep your things organized. So they have like a area for like phones, they have an area for like a bottle drink. Um, I might purchase one of those. I really don't need one. I do not want my bag to slouch, but as you can see, it's not slouching. It's still keeping its structure very, very well. Um, sometimes people just get a base to put inside their bag just to keep that bottom structure. And then, yes, um, when I get those, I will let you know and show them to you and 
you know, just let you know whether they work for me or not. So honestly, right now, I do not need those inserts. I love this bag and style and I cannot picture my life without it. <laughs> anymore okay and that's why I'm going to get and I will show you different um, canvases in this same style I actually really love the 30 I don't know how I'll feel about the 25 I mean I'm 1.64 centimeters in height I am not like super tall and I'm not like short so um, this size is great for me I do want a 35 and a 25 i like to keep those um just for different occasions you know i might not need this size and then i can go with the 25 and if i'm going like an overnight stay at my parents house then i can get the 35 so that is the plan like i like to keep keys on me so i'll put this in the side pocket and i will keep it in there um for when i'll need them and i also keep like you usually like if a bag comes with the authenticity card i keep that in the bag as well and you know the booklets you know the louis vuitton booklets i keep them on the side of the bag usually unless i took it out for some other reason but i don't want to lose those and so that is my speedy 30 in the bandolier um damir a bean print with my tag with my initials on there so um if i ever pass this bag down it would be quite sentimental to my child you know, my daughter um, she'll have her mom's initials on the bag on the tag i mean you can also get initials put right here on your bags but maybe next time i'll take this and i'll put this on different bags because i can detach it that was the whole idea on that so the bag at present is about 2290 in australian dollars in us dollars that's about 1640 the price has gone up it used to be 1450 around that price in the us dollars but as you see, <laughs> the price increase got us up with 200 dollars on this particular size i don't think that's actually a bad price at all for a luxury bag it is a luxury bag at the end of the day so yes there are others that are a lot worse worse priced but i think um, you could also get it um, on the pre-loved market i haven't looked at the pre-loved market because sometimes louis vuitton pieces are more expensive on the pre-loved than if you just buy directly from the store so yes have a look um, would i recommend the 30 i would have to do a whole separate video um, comparing the different sizes of the speedy and which one's good for what occasion or what body frame and so that so on like that but um the 30 i think is a happy medium for me and it packs a lot i do not think the 25 um, would be that small either in terms of things that you would want to carry on a day-to-day -day basis um, I think it would work perfectly as well, but I'm just those extra people, okay? <laughs> I like to be extra prepared, even though it has never snored where I live. If I could, I would carry snow boots around, <laughs> okay? But this fits everything that I think I might need and things that I actually need. <laughs> so yes, I am happy with the 30. Let me know what speedies you have and what sizes are working for you and what um, prints you have in your collection because I used to really just love the monogram but now I'm into Demi Urbin so who knows what I'll feel like tomorrow. So the Speedy 30 is actually comparable to my work bag, my current work bag um, in size and I have considered taking this one to work, but I'm a bit nervous. It's still brand new when it's, you know, it's my baby. I'll just show you my work bag. 
so this is my humble work bag at present and it just clips like that i'm not going to show you inside because it's got a whole lot of stuff but um yes that's it and it's kind of comparable i think for now i'll just stick to this bag because i'm not worried at work somebody might bump into it um it wasn't as expensive so yes oh i also have the Givenchy antigona bag that i think is also comparable to this size i'll go get it quickly so let's get it out it's a little bit dusty <laughs> i have neglected this bag for a little while as you can see the sizes are compatible um, I've got the small in the Givenchy, not the mini, the small, not the medium, the small. <laughs> but um, yes, so I'd say they're compatible. I'll have to do a separate video um, comparing my different bags. I mean, let me know if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, and I will think about doing a review on this bag. I mean... <laughs> Ah, well, I love this bag, but I have since neglected it because there's a new baby in town, okay? Let's put this away because this video is not about this bag. Okay, so that does it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video, okay? And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know each time I upload and leave me a comment down below about anything to do with this video or anything else really. Let me know what you want to see next. I am so excited to be putting these videos out for you and I love you all because you guys just say the nicest things in the comment section and some new subscribers as well. This is why I am so desperately wanting to do a giveaway. So let me know what you'd like in the comment section and we can get on to that. Anyways, um, I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you again. Bye.